And here we go. Future in the top right, the Valcyon. And in the bottom left, we have Dark. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, like Dark is obviously favored here. Future is a very good player. He's a very talented player, in my opinion. Uh, one of NA's best. It feels like he doesn't always apply himself fully. I guess that can be said pretty much for most of NA. Snorgate is going to be worth okay, we're... Damn. Okay. Wowie, well, fuck Zoe, it. We'll let that they one have a long way to go. <laughs> it's definitely better than zero player count, though. Zuzua! <laughs> Maybe we can put together a wicked hungry hungry hippo event right after the SG release. Uh Thank you, Profane. I'd be down for hungry hungry hippos. Wow. Wow. That was something else. You sent that three minutes ago? That's weird. Why would that lag so much then? Hmm. All right, anyways, uh, let's take a look at the game we've got going on. Future versus Dark. Uh, Future, this is a really interesting opener. I never see anyone do this. This is a very, very, very fast command center. No gases or anything, and he's just got a partial wall right now. Really, honestly, I never see a build like this. So this is really cool from Future. Uh, we have all sorts of fast expands that have walls and stuff. And even command center first this is like a pretty safe opener but doesn't give him <clears throat> for instance any pressure and any scouting intel that's why he sent an scv out but it will boost his economy up like his economy is going to be good it's going to be strong <coughs> i'm uh i'm kind of excited to see what future does with this build All right, well, this is this is pretty sick if you were to get this, but with four lings, this should be able to push it back. Oh, damn. He's just running. You got to at least micro it, my man. Oof. Well, that was certainly a uh, minus EV. And he was making a bunker near the, the command center, or the, near the third uh, hatchery as well. Definitely a bit, a bit greedy there. If he gets that overlord, it's insane. So Bion 1 2 0. So as soon as this is done, we'll go to the uh the winners match or the finals, guys. So it's gonna be Bion versus the winner of Future and Dark. So most likely Dark versus uh Bion. Most likely. Oh, dude, these four first four lings are doing amazingly. So he's killed three Marines. He's causing repair. Really, really painful here. It's not over. But Dark has an edge for sure. I believe this is three racks that we're looking at right now from future. So it, yeah, it's three racks. So he's, he's going to get stim. He's going to get combat shields. He's going to get a decent amount of bio. If his early pressure had done slightly better, like if he had killed the overlord, even if he loses the two, three Marines, if he had killed the overlord, this, I, I wouldn't mind his position really. Cause he is doing some interesting things, but now even that overlord popped in, it saw three racks. So, like, if you know it's three racks, I don't think the three racks can do really anything. Now, look at this really interesting uh, idea here from Future. He's going third command center very fast. So, third command center here. Um, yeah, like, okay, so it, this is super not normal, right? But like I was saying, if you know that three racks is being played, you can't really take damage from it. You just have to make enough units to smash it when it comes out. So you just kind of like, you watch for that, you smash it, their tech is late, their expansion is late, right? Their third expansion. Here, his tech is gonna be really late. And in fact, he goes for another command center. Dude, what in the hell am I looking at? This is pretty wild. This is pretty wild. Okay, so he's going four command center before a factory. Four before the factory. There's the factory. 
Now, with four command centers, like, his SCV count can be super, super big. My question is, is he going to be able to land his third command center and keep it there? <laughs> you know? Does he go pure bio here? Does he try to go siege tanks to kind of set up? I wouldn't mind him even making, like, three bunkers or something. Like, just kind of zoning things out. Like, he needs his economy to really get rolling. Now, Dark is going 1-1 here with Roaches, so... There's a very good chance what he'll do is max out pretty quickly and do an attack on the third base. So against that, generally, you want to have a good amount of siege tanks spread out. Um, Let's see what add-on he makes here with the factory. Does he do tech lab or does he do reactor? I'm actually very interested in that right now. That's like... Oh, I'm sorry. He already had he already had the tech lab. Okay, he swapped. There you go. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I think this is best case scenario for future right now. So basically what happened, guys, is he's swapping one of the racks. He's saying, okay, we can cut a few bio units here. Let's get tanks out right away. And let's get the reactor up as quickly as possible for the starport. And that's exactly what you want to do here. So he's got three bases, 56 workers. Really, really legit. Fourth base is up for dark. He has his 1-1. One, one. He's starting to really mass the roaches. This is what we were talking about before, right? This is this is a pretty common build. It used to be very popular. You still see it occasionally, but not that often. Now, if future... here Here's how you gauge how well this attack does. If he can force a liftoff on the third, he's happy, right? Like, it's generally Zerg advantage if you force a lift on the third. Obviously, not every time, but, like, very oftentimes that's what it is. So let's see if he's able to do that. I think he will be able to. There are some good buildings here, but he only has one seed shank. We don't have medevacs. He's actually attacking from an angle I didn't expect here. Huh. Okay, stims. He has a good amount of bio, and the roaches are clogged a bit. Now, he is dodging the biles a little bit here, but as you can see, like, SCVs come out. They just kind of block the side. Another siege tank pops out from the main. He kind of needs to position that well. Okay, he sieges, but maybe Biles will go down. Okay, 26 workers are falling. He's going to kill this army. Now, here is here is another problem that we have, okay? Now, he killed, he killed a lot of workers. The workers can kind of be replaced, but those are the first two medevacs that we're seeing right there. Normally, in these types of positions, what happens is you go you pick up with your medevacs and you go across the map and you abuse the fact that they're on roach ravager they don't have hydras they don't have mutas or anything like that and you abuse that with the medevacs here he's really late on that he's lost a lot of units he's lost a lot of scvs this game is for all intents and purposes done future is not going to be coming back from this unfortunately Yeah. <laughs> definitely uh, definitely not looking too hot. Man. Well. Dude, his army supply is by half. His 2-2 two -two is way slower. He just, he doesn't have anything going on. Nothing going on here. Wow. Really cost-efficient for Dark, even when he has Roaches as his main army. It's uh, it's a bit un unfortunate, right? His build got scouted. He went into, like, a really abstract, weird idea of four command centers right away. It's not something we generally see. You generally do need to apply more pressure on a Zerg. Unable to do so. Dark has been able to run free and do what he wants. And this is going to be game. Uh, future will GG in a second. Yeah. Taking out this uh, command center almost now at this point as well. True. Yeah, look at that. Down it goes. More units coming out. Future really not wanting to leave here. But, like, he is... Like, no one can win from here, obviously. Still trying his best. Another command center. Very, very low.
Yeah, Dark coming up for yet another attack. Good Biles going down. He's really spreading them, kind of zoning out what you can do with this Bile Force. And GG. All right, that's one to zero. Little bit one-sided there, unfortunately. Yeah, 4cc is... The third CC was really interesting because he got his three command centers, uh, his three racks scouted. I think if he had gone from that into factory immediately, it's a better play. Going 4cc, he just powered so hard. So hard. <coughs> Would the mining be more efficient if the Terran player commanded his forklift to move the whole mineral cart into the CC? Oh my god. I love people that don't watch StarCraft 2. We're getting in the next game. Just one second. All right, here we go. Tunga 111 cheered. X300, I want to make sure the SC2 viewers feel welcome. So just FYI GG means good game and is what players say when they quit because even though they haven't lost every <coughs> building they can tell the game is unwinnable based <coughs> on the current power imbalance. It requires seeing steps into the future which is probably hard for most of you but just <laughs> wanted to help you out. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. This is probably an eBay block. That's what it looks like to me. Um. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I leave the game, but I I, I don't type the GG. So yeah, it looks like probably an eBay block. I do like eBay blocks. I think they're pretty good. And there it is. That'll be a bit annoying for Dark. Dark really doesn't like making his command center anywhere, but I mean his first hatchery anywhere, but it's natural. Unless it's in your natural. Okay, pulls the SCV away immediately. I think that's a good play. He knows that the drone can just put a ton of damage on it. Turns around, chases that drone as well. And it looks like it might even be CC first. Future. I love this build. This is a great build. Look at that. After he confirms the hatch goes at the third, he cancels the eBay and goes CC first up the ramp in case the pool went down right away. This is a high quality build. I really like this from future. Kind of make dark expanse where he doesn't want to. Make sure that nothing crazy is happening and go ahead for the command center. It's kind of like middle of the road where he built the command center. In this particular case, he could have built it on low ground and been fine. But because he was confirming the third hatch, he wasn't entirely sure if there was the minerals for that. Well, the thing is, Dark could have, like, if Dark skips one drone there, he can get this pool into that hatchery, right? So this is this is why he made it on the high ground. He wasn't 100% sure. So, it, yeah, like, sometimes you do make that instantly. And, uh... We got any mods in the chat? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you like what you see? God, guys. <laughs> All 
Okay, so uh, the Overlord floats in. Going to see its command center first. Again, a very good opener here from Future. Double uh, barracks. I like the double barracks play after command center first. And he'll definitely go in factory after this as well. So. Yeah. A nice opener. Nice opener. I hope it gives us an interesting game. I don't want to see him do anything too wild. Kind of like we were talking about earlier in the stream. You know, Dark is obviously a lot better than Future, but Future's a really good player. If he macros really cleanly from here, there's no reason why he can't have an army that can fight against Dark. And once you get to a certain level, right, you can actually tell. You can be like, yes, I'm macroing well here. I have a lot of units. Versus it's like, oh, gosh, I feel like I am I have less units than I should right now. And then it's like, okay, well, now maybe isn't isn't the right time, but... You can judge something like that for yourself at this level. Baneling Nest. All right. Interesting. A lot of lings. And now uh, I think he's just going to do a ling bane all in. <laughs> Dark doesn't want to play anymore, man. He just wants to go play Bjun. Yeah, this is this is a super big all-in from Dark. There's nothing scouting on the map for future. If he completes the wall. Yeah, I mean. Ten banes. I think he can actually hold this, right? Because it's gonna take five to bust through the depot. Then you hit five, like kind of on the bunker-ish, and then you have a good amount of marines. Fifteen marines. Okay, he's making more Banes. I think that's probably important. Oh, shit. Well, that's how that's how you die instantly to it. And he had just... Okay, he sold the bunker as well. Well... <laughs> Dude, that's rough. That's rough. Oh, my God. He literally walked out as he all in was coming and sold the bunker. What can you do? We've all had that moment. We've all had that moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he actually had enough to hold on if he just didn't move. But he didn't know that was coming, right? You have no scout. That can happen with those builds. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to fill up my water. We're about to start the finals, but they have to veto the map, so it'll be about three minutes. BRB.